Hey, what's up, Tani here and welcome to my channel and another video. Today I'm here with my Reading Rush TBR. So the Reading Rush is a week-long readathon that is held every year in July. And this year is July 20th to 26th. And it's basically just a week of reading as much as you can. There are challenges that you could fulfill during this challenge but you can just basic you don't have to you can just read as much as you can because I think at the end the page count is what counts so we want to read as much as possible so I however did try to do a use the challenges and find books and since I haven't read manga in a while or not as much I made this only manga related so I tried to find a manga for all of these challenges so there will be there's seven challenges but I will only make a TBR of six books and you will know why in the end so yes the first challenge was a bit hard for me because yes so the first one is read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone and my birthstone is amethyst I never don't know and it's like a purple so I had to find a manga with a purple cover which honestly I have no idea so I went I used like three manga that I have that are a little bit purplish and I went on Twitter and Shay from Shay Geeks Out was telling me that I can I should be able to use this book so I will do that so it's her fault if it doesn't count and so for this I will read Vinland Saga volume 11 which I'm counting this part so works for me I'm I can't wait to read this so that's perfect so this is for the first challenge then the second one is read a book that starts with the word D so whatever starts with the D I mean T H E the the so for that, of course, I'm going with The Promised Neverland. So I'm going to read volume 15, which also excited so much. Then the next one was a bit of a hard one because there's not a lot of options I have that I actually own something. So I'm going to start a series that I wanted to wait with because I don't have only have one book, but... Okay, so the next one is read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. And I didn't find anything for that. So basically it's something where you've seen the movie before the book. Or I, for me I'm going with a TV show or an anime of course. And I have never read this manga before but I have seen the anime so I'm counting that. So for this challenge I will start reading Full Metal Alchemist, these beautiful hardcovers. I only have this one, but that also means I'm going to try and get this series now. Yay! So yes, I have seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, the full anime, a while ago, and I always wanted to read the manga, but I didn't want to get the singles. And now with these beautiful ones. I'm just going with them, so I'm going to read that for this challenge. And I'm excited, because I love the anime so much. Ah, it's so good. So yeah, that means I have to buy more of this soon. Yay. Then the next one is read a book completely outside of your house. So I can read anything for this. So I am going with 
Paracamon volume 17. As you may remember, I want to complete this series and there's only two more volumes. So I am going to read volume 17. So I have to read this outside of my house, which is not a problem for me. I can just read this at my parents' place because we have a big garden. So I can just read it outside when the sun is shining, hopefully in that week. Fingers crossed. So yes, Paracamon volume 17. Now, the next one, I don't know if I'm cheating a bit or not, because it's something I haven't read a lot of, so it kind of counts, because, yeah. So the next one is, read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. And honestly, for the fact that I really love this in TV shows, I haven't really read a lot of books in that category. So for that, I want to read... The Girl from the Other Side, Volume 8, which is... I don't know what it counts as. Is it, it's not really horror, a little bit. It's more like it's dark and paranormal and all that stuff. And I really love this in TV shows and movies. I am a sucker for like vampire and werewolves and all that stuff. But I haven't really read a lot in that and I really want to read more. So, yes. Reading this. Then the next challenge is read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live. Which in manga is not really hard to do. I can't, I can't read Winland Saga for this because... But anything else I would have been able to read. So, but because I'm reading Barakamon Volume 17, I, am, I decided to read 18 as well for this challenge because obviously this takes place in Japan so yes works for me right and the last challenge is read the first book you touch so I will lay these out on the floor I will close my eyes and I will just touch one and this one is gonna be the one for this challenge so this is what I'm gonna do so let's do that all right, so I line them up here with the spines up because that way it's harder for me to like, because when it's laid out the other way around, I can just touch it and feel it. So this way I'm just gonna come down and just touch one. Hopefully I will touch one because I'm gonna close my eyes. So let's see. Right, so I'm closing my eyes and I'm just gonna touch I don't know if I'm touching anything. Am I touching anything? This. I hope, hopefully I did touch that, but. It's the promised Neverland, so I'm gonna choose that for this option, for this challenge. I'm not sure if I was touching the girl from the other side or this, because it was just falling down randomly. Yay. So yes, that was that. So this is my TBR for the reading rush for this year. And if I'm done with all of these and I still have time, I will of course read something else as well. I will also vlog it so you will see. But this is my main TBR and whatever else I'm gonna read, you will see. So yes, TBR. So this is it for this video. Let me know if you participate in this readathon and what you're gonna read. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!